and they're not the only ones on the road. Five on your side, Sarah Maki talked to a New Orleans family on their way home from St. Louis. Sarah? Yeah, that's right. I talked to Taylor Valera and her husband Adrian today. New Orleans residents who for the second time in two years have had to ride out a disaster in St. Louis. Today on their ride home, they said that this is really a case of deja vu. Well, I was just thinking about the interview last year in St. Louis again. <laughs> We first caught up with Taylor Valera in the spring last year. In her third trimester, she came to St. Louis for a baby shower with friends and family. But at the same time, COVID cases spiked in her home city, New Orleans, forcing the expectant parents to make a tough decision to ride out the start of the pandemic in St. Louis. They eventually returned to New Orleans with baby boy Rio. We're looking at each other like, we just did a full circle and it's been an entire year. But Ida pushed them back up the Mississippi River once again, getting updates from friends and family who stayed. We haven't heard good things at all. We heard it looks like a bomb exploded there. Aww. A lot of people have not come back yet. The Valeras are now headed back to New Orleans with these supplies, though they've been warned that the situation is bad, something Adrian remembers from living through Hurricane Katrina. My dad's house uh, collapsed. Honestly, it just reminds us, well, it reminds me of Katrina. So it's kind of, that's a callus that will never go away. Since their last stint in St. Louis, the young couple got married, got a new place, started their own businesses. They hope this is the last time they'll seek shelter in St. Louis. Yes. yes, it was definitely deja vu. We were more prepared this time. Now, the couple knows that they have their work cut out for them with repairs, and they do expect it could be weeks without utilities. They've started a GoFundMe, like so many others, to help them get through rebuilding. Stay with Five on Your Side and NBC News for the latest on Ida's aftermath. We'll bring you any new developments on air on KSTK.com and the Five on Your Side app.